Hello language learners and welcome back to the English Grammar Mastery course. My name is Sai Sarath and in this lesson you are going to learn all about conjunctions. Have you ever wondered how we connect our thoughts and ideas so smoothly in a sentence giving it a proper flow and meaning? It's like building a bridge between two islands of ideas and the magic tool that we use is called conjunctions. In this lesson, we are going to explore these unifying forces in the world of grammar that help our communication stay seamless and meaningful. So fasten your seat belts and let's dive into the intriguing realm of conjunctions. Conjunctions are words that join words, phrases or clauses together in a sentence. They help create coherent sentences by linking related thoughts, making our communication more fluid and connected. Without conjunctions, our sentences would sound disconnected and our speech would be quite difficult to comprehend. There are three main types of conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions. First, let us learn about the coordinating conjunctions. The coordinating conjunctions are used to join two or more words, phrases or clauses that are of equal importance. They create a relationship of balance and parallelism between elements that they join. There are seven coordinating conjunctions in English. For, and, nor, but, or, yet and so. They enable the formation of compound sentences and contribute to the overall coherence and flow of writing. We can easily remember the coordinating conjunctions by using the acronym FANBOYS which stands for FOR, AND, NOR, BUT, OR, YET, AND SO. Let us understand each of these. FOR is used to indicate a reason purpose or cause. It explains why something is happening or being done. For example, she went to the store for some groceries. And is used to connect words, phrases or clauses that have a similar or related meaning. It signifies addition or continuation. For example, he likes to read books and watch movies. NOR is the negative form of OR and is used to present a negative choice or alternative. For example, she neither ate nor drank anything during the party, but connects words, phrases or clauses that contrast or present a contradiction. For example, he studied hard, but he still didn't pass the exam. OR is used to present a choice or alternative between two or more options. For example, would you like tea or coffee? Yet is used to show contrast or introduce something unexpected contrary to the expectations. For example, it was raining, yet she went for a walk. So indicates a cause and effect relationship or a logical conclusion. For example, he practiced diligently, so he improved his skills. Let us now see some examples where coordinating conjunctions are used. I went to the store and bought some milk and bread. The coordinating conjunction AND is used to join two independent clauses that are of equal importance. I went to the store and bought some milk and bread. The use of AND creates a relationship of balance between these two clauses, indicating that they are both equally important. Also observe how I used AND between milk and bread, showing equal importance between these two. Let us take another example. I studied hard, so I passed the test. In this example, the coordinating conjunction SO is used to show a cause and effect relationship between the two clauses I studied hard and 
I passed the test. The use of so indicates that the second clause is a result of the first clause. The two clauses are of equal importance and the use of so creates a relationship of balance and parallelism between them. Now let us learn about the subordinating conjunction. The subordinating conjunctions are used to join a subordinate or a dependent clause to the main or independent clause. Subordinating conjunctions indicate the relationship between two clauses such as time, cause and effect or condition. There are many subordinating conjunctions in English, but some of the commonly used subordinating conjunctions are after, although, because, if, since, until, while and unless. Let us see some examples where subordinating conjunctions are used. Although it was raining, he went for a run. In this example, the subordinating conjunction although is used to join the subordinate clause although it was raining to the main clause he went for a run. The use of although indicates a contrast between the two clauses. The subordinate clause cannot stand alone as a sentence but instead depends on the main clause for the meaning. The main clause is independent and can stand alone as a sentence. Let us see another example. If you study hard, you will pass the test. In this sentence, the subordinating conjunction if is used to join the subordinate clause if you study hard to the main clause you will pass the test. The use of if indicates a conditional relationship between the two clauses. Now let us learn about the next type of conjunction, the correlative conjunction. Correlative conjunctions are used in pairs to join two or more words, phrases or clauses that are of equal importance. The most common correlative conjunctions are either or, neither nor, both and, not only but also, whether or, as, as, such, that. They create a relationship of balance and parallelism between the elements that they join. Let us understand each of these. Either or indicates a choice between two options. For example, you can either eat the cake or save it for later. Neither nor indicates the negation of both options. For example, neither John nor Sarah attended the meeting. Both dash and indicates the inclusion or combination of two elements. For example, she is both intelligent and hardworking. Not only but also emphasizes the inclusion of two elements, often with added emphasis on the second element. For example, he is not only a talented musician, but also a skilled writer. Whether or indicates a choice or possibility between two options. For example, whether you stay or leave, the decision is yours. As, as indicates equality or comparison between two elements. For example, the room is as bright as the sun, such that indicates a cause and effect relationship or a result. For example, it was such a hot day that we decided to go swimming. Now let us take a look at some more sentences where correlative conjunctions are used. Both the parents and the children enjoyed the movie. In this sentence, the correlative conjunction both dash and is used to join two elements of equal importance, the parents and the children. The use of both indicates that both elements are present and important and the use of and shows that elements are connected. The sentence indicates that both the parents 
and the children enjoyed the movie let us take another example not only did she finish the project but she also did it well in this sentence the correlative conjunction not only dash but also is used to join two elements of equal importance she finished the project and she did it well the use of not only indicates that one element is true and the use of but also shows that other element is also true the sentence indicates that she not only finished the project but she also did it well now that we have learned about the conjunctions and different types of conjunctions let's put your understanding to test with these practice exercise pause the video here and try to answer these questions you can get the answers in the pdf material provided below this lesson okay so before we end let us have a quick recap of what we have learned in this lesson in this lesson we have explored the conjunctions which play a vital role in connecting our thoughts and ideas in sentences we have seen how coordinating subordinating and correlative conjunctions bring coherence and fluency to our speech and writing with a deeper understanding of these grammatical bridges we can communicate more effectively remember practice makes perfect the more you use conjunctions in your daily conversations the more confident and proficient you will become so that was it about conjunctions and their types after watching this lesson you can go through the material given below and test your understanding through a quiz given there in the next lesson you will learn about interjections and their types i'll see you in the next lesson thank you and happy learning